what's up me gang it's your girl Shanice, and i'm going to be doing a what's in my shower type of video type of haul y'all i have to stop recording because i see the green light and i'm like is there somebody using my phone to pre me but i just realized that i'm recording and that's why it's there anyways yeah so it ain't much in my shower you know but i'm gonna show you guys what i use to stay clean um what i use to you know be fresh all day so that so yeah so the first thing is i'm starting off with this bar soap now i got this from bath and body works this is the biggest bar soap i've ever used in my life this was this is this size was even bigger than like the original dove or irish spring or any type of bar soap this was a really huge bar soap um, they had it for three ninety five at Bath and Body Works. It was really thick and big. Like that's how you know it had to be clean and fresh because it's almost done. Like if you guys seen the size of this, you'd be like, "How did you even get it to this size in like a week?" I like to stay clean, so I got this. This is the stress free um scent. It smells so good. I even have the matching body oil. So yeah. Next thing I have is this Equate Sensitive Body Wash. Now, I bought this yesterday. Let me tell you something. This is a this is a really big, thick size. This is bigger than the Dove I'm about to show you guys. But this was like four something. Came up to like five something at Walmart. I use this for my feminine wash basically because I don't know. Like I just have a hard time finding stuff to use down there you know what i'm saying like i've tried the summer's eve i've heard bad things about it so i stopped using it so then i just went back to using just plain old regular sensitive soap bar and water washing down there but like you know what even though this is a body wash you can use this as a feminine wash and i used it last night for the first time this is my first time buying this and let me tell you something i think i'm actually in love you know what i'm saying because it didn't burn Nothing like that happened. Like, it just it just did its job. So, this is the Equate Sensitive Skin Body Wash. Um, Sulfate-free, paraben-free, paraben dermatology-tested, lightly scented. Like, it's very, very lightly scented. Um, let me tell you something. It has, like, really little to no scent. So, I just use that for down there. Next is this Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash. Now, I love this. This is probably like my fifth bottle of this. I even love the matching bar soap. They don't sell the matching bar soaps at my Walmarts. They did a long time ago, but they stopped. But they do sell them at a strip plaza near where I live. So once they reopen up because you no know, everything is closed, I'm most definitely going to stock up because I love it so much. Like, if you were to tell me which dove body wash would you use only it would be this so this is the gentle exfoliating with sea minerals instant reveals visibly smoother skin i love this it just has like a really nice scent like it just has like a really nice fresh scent i love it like i use so much of this body wash like whenever i use this body wash i feel so fresh and so clean so yeah. Okay, speaking of body wash, I have a few more here, but first I'm going to get into this. Now, I got this at a black, I got it from a black owned business a few years ago. I don't even know if they're still in business. I haven't heard anything from them, but basically what it is, it's just like an exfoliating wash, scrub, scarf, cloth type of thing. And it's really abrasive. The first time I used this, when I tell you when I was done showering, the amount of dirt that was going down the drain i'm telling you my body needed it really bad so i got that so i'm gonna show you this first so this is my skin timid skin therapy lotion my vitamin e shave gel for dry skin i really love this i got this pack i got this in a pack of five from costco and I believe I either have one more of this left. And I also have the Flamingo Shave Gel as well. And I'm actually starting to go. I am actually starting to start waxing. So 
um, when all my shade gels that I have are done and when all my razors are done and I throw them away, I'm actually going to go to like waxing instead of shaving. So, um, yeah, so this is just, this is 35% more product. I got five, I believe, five or four for just $10 and it comes with 35% more in each container. So I got that. They also even sold this at Walmart, Dollar Tree. So yeah. Next I have is this Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Foaming Cleanser. It instantly removes makeup, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've been using this for like four years now. Um, As you can see, I got a bit left. I haven't been using makeup like that because my hair's not done. And when my hair's not done, I don't feel like being glammed up to be honest. But um, yeah, and I also have a few makeup wipes. So once this is done, I'm going to use up all my makeup wipes and then I'm going to stop entirely using makeup wipes. And I think I might stop using this as well. I don't know. I've been using Clean Care for years. My doctor actually recommended me using Clean Care. And Clean Care is okay. Like, I've had a bad experience with the spot treatment. But I just feel like I need to start putting cruelty-free natural things on my skin. Because my skin is super, super sensitive. So... I might just use my Fenty skin to remove my makeup. Rihanna even said, and as she demonstrated it in a video, that this can also remove makeup. I've seen a girl on the Fenty skin Instagram actually using this to remove her makeup, washing this off, and then using this again to cleanse her skin. And I also have the Fenty, so I have this, the Fenty skin total cleanser and then i have the fenty skin um spf 30 face cream so they're all they're both cruelty free i'm actually gonna get the under eye cream and there's another cream that comes in like a circle i'm gonna get the whole skincare line because it's all cruelty free and it's good like it's just natural you know what i'm saying and plus it's back on and plus i gotta support my wife my wife really so you y'all just know how it goes down but yeah the next thing i'm gonna show you guys is this fenty skin total cleanser removes it all cleanser meaning it removes it all is all in one so i got that i'm actually running low so i have to stock up i next is just like body washes from bath and body Works. so i'm gonna just show you guys that okay so the first body wash is white jasmine now i love this scent i've had this scent in 2019 with the matching lotion but the travel size and when i say i love it like it just smells natural it's clean fresh there's nothing too much as you can see it is like this is like my everyday shower gel like you see it's almost done i go through shower gels and hand soaps like crazy especially shower gels but i like this whole marble look as you can see and it just matches my marble um shower mat um so yeah i just like this if it could focus with shea and vitamin E. The scent notes are cherry, white jasmine, apple blossom, and white cedar wood. I've noticed on the, was it the hand soaps? Or the bot, no, I've noticed on the body sprays and the body cream that they're cruelty free, but I don't notice the same with the shower gels. And there's a lot of people saying the shower gel has an ingredient that can cause imbalanced hormones. I've heard a lot. I've heard enough people. I've heard enough people. Okay. How can I say this to make it sound like I'm not trying to confuse y'all? I've heard enough people complain about, you know, the shower gels enough for me to stop using it. Because I actually heard a little bad, like a lot of bad stuff about it. But I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like me eventually... I probably will stop using, if it's just the shower gels, I probably will stop using them anyways because I don't really like harmful ingredients, especially my, my deodorants. Like I'm starting to use um, like a lunar free deodorants, you know what I'm saying? So I've been using Bath & Body Works for a year, so hopefully i don't know to be honest but for now i'm gonna just use what i can because honey these scents are spot on so yeah this is white jasmine the next scent this is this this scent right here a thousand wishes brings back so many memories like i'm holding on to their life i'm not even i'm only using it when i'm going somewhere special and i'm chilling with people 
Ray Ray Ra because I actually want to pick up a bottle during SES, but a thousand wishes is never on sale for SES. I don't know what it I think it I think I got this SES in 2019. But 2020, like last year, they never had the thousand wishes on it was just full price. So I paid $13.50 for this worth it. I'm not complaining because I love this scent. I don't I actually like the original packaging, but the scent still smells good. The scent still smells the same. So the scent notes is pink prosecco, crystal peonies, and gilded amber. And the last thing in my shower is this. Now I'm this is full. Yes, I have opened it. I'm waiting to get to the spray because I have so much in my collection that I'm just trying to get through but i'm almost there to get into the spray so i can start using this in the shower this is the champagne apple and honey lord when i tell you this smells so good <laughs> like this smells so good i actually have two of these and two body creams i have the shower gel here and then i have the another shower gel in my cabinet and i have a body cream in my dresser and another body cream in my cabinet because it smells that good i was actually looking for the body spray but they didn't have they didn't have what's all out um, the scent notes is Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods, baby. This just might... Can I tell you something? I'm going to be using this scent so much that it's going to attach to a memory. And it's just going to be my all-time favorite, just like how A Thousand Wishes worked out. Like, A Thousand Wishes, when I was using A Thousand Wishes, I was just using it so much. And then, boom, like... I'm like, this scent reminds me of a situation that happened back two years ago back back in high school like you know how scents just bring back memories from years ago or months ago like when a situation happened i have a feeling champagne and apple is going to bring back a memory about somebody or something i don't even know what it's going to be about but yeah but that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um make sure to like like subscribe and comment for more videos so yeah